So there's really no significant lifestyle change that the patient has to undergo once they donate a kidney to somebody. Considering being a kidney donor, there are a couple things that they have to think of before they uh, come forward. One thing is their overall medical health. Uh, if they're a person who is overweight, who has high blood pressure and diabetes, they're not a good candidate to give up one of their kidneys. They need to maintain all their kidney function to fight off these disease processes later on and to make sure that these disease processes don't affect their kidney function in the long run. So it's typically, again, people who are very healthy, who have no significant medical history, and who have a good altruistic motivation for donating. After you donate one of your kidneys, you should maintain a healthy lifestyle. The real truth is, is that you should have a healthy lifestyle whether you have one kidney or two kidneys. There really shouldn't be any difference. You should drink lots of water, you should stay away from large amounts of protein, and stay away from large amounts of salt. But that you should do whether you have, you're have you the healthiest person in the world or you have a lot of medical problems. So there's really no significant lifestyle change that the patient has to undergo once they donate a kidney to somebody. Now if somebody came in and said, I'm a smoker and I enjoy my cigarettes, can I donate a kidney? I would say, no, and you probably shouldn't be smoking either for your own general health. So I think that, again, if you're a healthy person with a good motivation for donating, you will not have any significant lifestyle changes afterwards. If they did, we wouldn't allow people to do this.